something that you and I were sort of talking about uh, in DMs about, I, I hadn't really considered the fact that from our podcast perspective, we've experienced the fallout of this controversy as a fan of anime and, you know, fans of voice actors and localizations and, and the dubs and all, all the things that are sort of in that realm. Mm -hmm. um, but somebody like yourself, like you're dealing with the fallout of having relationships with people who overnight decided that they don't ever want to talk to you again, you know, and this is like the rift in the actual industry that has split, you know, it's, it's no wonder that Chuck Huber waited to have his affidavit filed until the day of the deadline uh, in order to avoid, you know, the fallout that was going to come from it. Yeah. And it's, yeah. Uh, that's got to suck, man. I'm sorry for that. Well, in, for me, I've been out of the industry for what? This thing happened it was six years. So, <clears throat> so, it, you know, it was no skin off my back, but it was sad that my, that my friends started fighting each other. Well, I should say one basically stabbed him in the back. Um, Jamie wasn't really my friend at all. And, you know, just an acquaintance, but my other friend Sammy, Sammy Annoy Hart, mm -hmm. that that was that was depressing. Yeah, to see all that stuff transpire, and, I, and I'm, you know, even today I'm wondering why she, why she did what she did. I mean, all that stuff that that she uh, put out on the internet, you know, I knew the background story for for all those pictures. I mean, it was. Right, photos of an actual event that did happen in her life, but it was not related to Vic <laughs> at all. So, I, I I wonder, you know, because Sammy Sammy was a voice actor. She owned her own animation company. She did oh. work for Disney. She did some. Uh, she was. They were in agreement working on a contract with Funimation for some anim original animation work. High Garden I don't... Spice. <laughs> <laughs> High Garden Spice. That's Crunchy Roll. Uh, no, I don't know. I, I don't know what the I don't, I don't know what the context was. <clears throat> she was good friends with um, uh, Guillermo de Toro. Huh. Oh. And um, and she's also uh, friends with uh, Robert Rodriguez, and and he's she's even worked on some of his films. Wow! So I, I, I was just like, you know, what were you thinking, Sammy? You had everything going for you. Why did you even stuck stick your neck out for for a story that's not even true? And Vic never did anything bad towards you. I mean, yeah. do you think? I mean, the worst he probably even said was, "Hi, Sammy." <laughs> right. That's. Do you fancy. think? Uh, you know, like you said, she had a lot going for her before faking the swatting. Do you think that she was, I guess, envious or jealous over the fact that, despite having all this going on for her, nobody outside of the industry knew who she was, and that she was trying to gain some notoriety and attention? Because I was flabbergasted uh, yeah. at the amount of, of people like Neil Kaplan and all these people who came out with their own stories right? for their 10 seconds of fame to get a bunch of retweets and stuff uh, and replies and all those notifications coming in on their phone telling them how much people like their story uh, about the most absurd, ridiculous things. And, you know, mm -hmm. the swatting is just the cherry on top for the most you know, ridiculous story to come out. And I feel like as soon as that happened, all the other stories, uh, even though many of them were already being debunked and, you know, shown for being embellished greatly because of the, uh, because of the video evidence and whatnot, that um, that one crashed so hard, so quickly that all the other ones kind of just stopped. Like I, I didn't see another one come out after that one. Like, it was a cautionary tale for people. So to yeah, speak. I think uh, yeah. uh, I don't know uh, Samantha, um, but uh, what is it? It could also be possible that maybe it was the sort of social pressure of all the other people in the circle, all you know, coming out against Vic, and then you know, 
tagging along with the whole idea but mm -hmm. you know that's just speculation on my part well the thing is that before i don't know why she did that there's no yeah. reason for that she had her own following she had her own group of people her own fans and she didn't need to to join up with with the the rest of the gang there's no reason for that right whatsoever so i don't know what what she was thinking and she before she faked the swatting she had a bunch of um stories say, of her own yeah i was like how do you like a fireside chat so to speak of telling her facebook followers uh, and friends you know stories about vic that that continue to get more and more outlandish and ridiculous and then she drops the the swatting story and it just like all blew up it is yeah. hard man i i can't imagine being in a situation i mean i was i was in a, a similar situation actually over this i mean not not near not nearly as catastrophic where uh when when this all started to unfold, I was in a group of, um, of anime YouTubers on uh, a discussion on Twitter, like in DMs. And I merely asked people if they had any stories of their own, if they'd ever interact with Vic, because we were supposed to cover it on the show. And it immediately, immediately devolved into uh, an ideological war where, you know, people, people told me that... <clears throat> Up, wanting to uphold innocent until proven guilty is a right wing position, which I was dumbfounded by, right? Mm -hmm. And and yeah. I basically got ousted by from from the anime YouTuber community, at least among that group of people, uh, because they decided that I was guilty of wrong think for merely asking if anybody had any. Um, had any interactions with Vic or any, if they knew of anything, cause I was desperately looking because when the thing first dropped the anime news network article, I had spent an entire two weeks looking up and down the internet. I went through the entire Tumblr blog. I looked everywhere I could and none of the evidence seemed to be credible whatsoever. And constantly, anytime something seemed like it might've been credible, even if it was just the smallest thing, like he interrupted uh, the panel I was at because he's a diva and wanted uh, wanted the people doing their panel to leave so he could do his panel or whatever. Like I actually found footage of the panel and the and he shows up just like they said he did on their Tumblr post. Uh, and then he very politely lets them know that they're over by like, you know, five minutes or whatever. And he's going up to bat for his fans who came from around the world to see him by just respectfully telling the people whose panel is running a little long uh, that, you know, he he needs the room uh, as soon as possible, you know. And in their story, they oh. talk about how, like, how uh, he was getting death glares from the people on the panel. And they were basically, like, simping for one of the actors for the, for the show. And it's just, like, absurd and ridiculous. So I just asked, like... Mm -hmm. Is there anything that I haven't yet seen? Because I I was about to have to do a show. This is podcast 45, where I had to say, look, I know how this is being painted. I know how everybody is pointing how this looks, but I just don't see it. And I was terrified to start that podcast and have to go over that topic and basically say, I don't think he did it. I have yet to see anything. And I'm I'm very happy that I didn't fold, you know, and that I, you know, have a sort of life rule to tell the truth uh, and, you know, stick to my guns when I feel like I'm, you know, in that situation because I feel more and more vindicated every day, you know? So anyway, um, next time AC, next time someone throws in your face and you know what side you're on when you say innocent until proven guilty, well, tell them not to expect any defense or to be able to defend themselves in a court of law or any situation to where someone is accusing them of something. I don't care if it's taking the last brownie. Like, <laughs> if someone doesn't well, doesn't like innocent until proven guilty, then you can accuse someone of anything, and then they must accuse. They That's, don't like innocent until proven guilty until they're accused of something and their same standards being held right, against them. Yep. Not, yep. not, that, not that Sarah Widenheft specifically uh, was in this group that I'm talking about, but that's exactly what happened to her brother. Right. Well, it also yeah. happened with the the leader. I think both or two leaders in a row of the Me Too organization mm -hmm. or the Stand Up 
one of the two right. they had like their son accused and instantly it was like well no they're lying it's like you literally run a group where it's believe all women and you're telling us right. something opposite when someone accuses your son right and and of course when it came to uh two podcasts ago we started with that clip of vera because when she's speaking her truth right chris rager tells her to to go fuck herself pr pretty much right <laughs> And it's just like, it's unbelievable to watch these people turn into vicious monsters, right? Yeah, but Funimation doesn't condone harassment of anyone. Right, and of course... <laughs> that they approve of. Yeah. 